Now I'd like our four 2020 finalists for Teacher of the Year to share what they love about teaching. I love being my students' first experience in school. I love being able to hold the place of being their first teacher and instilling their love for learning, which hopefully they will carry with them throughout their educational career. Um, I love watching them grow. Um, it's so crazy to see how when they come in, they're literally just little babies. Um, you know, they don't, they can't recognize, some of them can't even recognize their name. They don't know the difference between a number and a letter. And then normally when they leave me, they are able to identify letters, letter sounds. They're able to not only identify their name, but write their name. Um, you know, they're able to decipher the difference between numbers, letters, and they can count um, from zero to 20 and count backwards from 10 back down. Um, so really just being able to experience that with my children is wonderful. And then another thing that I love about teaching is um, I think working with the younger students, I learn from them every day because some of these students go through things that I could not ever imagine and they're so um, resilient to it. They just come in with a smile on their face and just act like everything's okay and it's just another day at school. And I think learning from these little guys and seeing how they just carry on and continue to be positive is really rewarding. I can't say the word teaching without a big smile on my face. I absolutely love teaching, but what I love most is the relationships that I build with my students. Being a TAD teacher, I'm fortunate because sometimes I work with students for three years in a row, third, fourth, and fifth grade. And when you work with a child for three years, you really develop a strong relationship with them. And they come to me as eight-year-olds, maybe not as confident as they should be in their abilities, maybe questioning whether they're smart enough to be in TAD, um, not always eloquent public speakers, and um, they leave confident, secure in their abilities, and when you hear them speak publicly, you are blown away with their confidence and their intellect and their passion for the things that they're speaking about. And so I love that. But what's really awesome is when I see these students that I've taught, taught out in Walmart or out in the mall, and they run up to me and they start telling me about what they're doing. And I'm always amazed at the things that they're accomplishing. And when their parents tell me what they're doing, I love hearing those stories. And I think to myself, I had a small part in that journey. I'm, I, I had them for a few years and I had a small part in that. And it makes me proud that they want me to be proud of them and they want to share their successes with me. And it makes me proud that I was a part of that as well. I love that I get to make a difference in the lives of my students each and every day. I take great pride in knowing that I'm teaching some of the world's greatest problem solvers in my classroom. And so be, being able to be a guide uh, for those students is incredible to me. Um, that really rang true recently when I received a letter from a student who actually went into detail about how he takes AP classes every year of high school and was able to describe in detail some of the real world projects that we were working on in my middle school classroom. And he then went on to share how he was going to be moving on to college soon and applying some of the project skills that we learned in my classroom. And so that's what I love about teaching is making that difference each and every day. I, I love that I learn every single day. Uh, every single day of being in a school, I'm learning something new, something exciting. Uh, and the passion uh, that the, some of my students bring in every single day and the fact that they show up every single day in spite of what might have happened outside my room my students show up every single day and if they don't show up i see them in the hallway i at least get a hug every single day so i love that i think we've made them wait long <laughs> enough so why, what do you say we get to it and announce the wicomico county 2020 teacher of the year Sure. Well, I just happened to have a gift bag that was left on my step. Um, and I understand that inside this bag, I'm going to find the name plaque that goes on the, or the nameplate that goes on a plaque for our teacher of the year. So without further ado, let me pull that out. 
and let you know that Fema Lathabaskaran is our, oh, yeah. is our 2020, 2021 Thank Teacher you. of the Year. Congratulations to Hema. And Thank Hema, you. I wish I could be with you in person. Here's your nameplate. I was working on my PhD. My goal was to be a researcher, or maybe a college professor at some point. Uh, and then I got married, I came to the US, uh, and I didn't have uh, the opportunity to restart my research in the US. Uh, so my husband is the person who actually pushed me. Uh, he felt really guilty that I was staying home, uh, not doing anything. So uh, he said, you have the knowledge, you have the passion for science, you just can't just sit home and not do anything. Uh, so he actually uh, put in the application uh, for me to join the MAT program. I come from a family of teachers, so he saw that in me and he said, you're, you're good, so you should, you should share your passion, you should share your knowledge. Uh, so I didn't know I would love teaching so much and I always knew the minute I stepped into class that I was born to teach, but now staying home, not seeing my students, not being in my classroom, I'm realizing that it, it is such a big part of who I am as a person now.